I know how you must feel. You were so sure I was lying. Now you know the truth. I am carrying your child. Let's drink to its life. Pregnant women shouldn't drink. One glass won't hurt me. A whole bottle wouldn't hurt you. Why are you looking at me like that? Why can't you be happy for us and our baby? Oh, stop. Stop! You want me to lose it, don't you? Lose what? You're not pregnant. You're crazy. No, you're crazy. You listen to me. You lied. The tests were negative. There's no baby and there never was. I am. I am carrying your child. My wife is carrying my child. Anna, not you. You made the whole thing up. You're full of evil and sickness. Now go back to New York and don't come anywhere near me. I won't let you leave me. I'll kill myself. Oh, please. What have I ever done but love you? I'm going to give you a list. You did to me what you did to Anna. You did to your father what you did to Julian. Those are lies. Lies! You'll never have a child with anybody else with me, I promise you that. <laughs> you come anywhere near me or my family again, I'm going to kill you. I promise you I'm going to kill you, okay? I know, but I dropped it. Pick up that stitch. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, go back, go back. Okay. But I did. You just keep doing it like that. Pick up the no, stitch. No, I, I did, I did do that. Mommy, look. See? Oh, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Marcy. Well, she's real excited about our new baby. So is my teacher, too. Oh, that's nice. In fact, Marcy's a little jealous. Why? I think maybe she wants the little brother, too. So you'd like to have a little baby brother, would you? Well, just a little bit, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Is your man ever coming home? I hope so. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Speaking of the devil. Well, well, well. Oh, look. What's the occasion? You are. I am? Mm, go get your best dress on. We're going out. We are? Yeah, we're going to go celebrate the baby. Oh, go, Mom. Go on. Go, on. Yeah. go have a good time. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Here. What the hell is she doing here? Come on, ask her. Wait. Ignore her. Sit down. Come on. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Lavery, what can I get for you today? Hi. Nice to see you. Uh, two large soda waters with a twist. We're celebrating because uh, we're pregnant. <laughs> Yes, I heard. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the occasion? Every time I'm with you, it's an occasion. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me, boss. Angel needs to see you in the office. No. At, your, at your earliest convenience. Uh, well, go on, go on. Hurry back. Okay. Be right back. Okay. I'm going to the town room. Would you excuse me? Blocking the door. I'm not afraid of you. Maybe after you hear what I have to say, you will be. What are you trying to prove? I know exactly what you're trying to do. Gee, I thought you wanted to be friends. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Come on in what? In spite of everything you've tried to do, I've remained silent. But when you use my daughter to further your own selfish, miserable ends. I don't know what you're talking about. I think when Robin's adorable. When you fill her head with your own sick perversions, you've gone too far. I was not sick of your demented. No, I'm not. Don't you ever call you me. You slithered your way into my husband's bed, but I will never allow you to frighten my child. Never. You really shouldn't excite yourself like this. You're pregnant. It's not good for you or the baby. The baby's fine. So is its father, and so am I. And I intend to keep it that way. So don't you ever go near my husband again. 
Are you threatening And me? I brought my child up never to speak to strangers, and I never met anyone as strange as you. So don't you ever speak to my child again, or you'll regret it. Are you threatening me? Problem? Not for long. What's that about? She got bored. It's done. Okay. 